from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. Prime Minister Minutes continues to get policy challenges from within his own party. Now it's former Finance Minister and former Deputy Prime Minister Peter Turnquist. And this is his take on the Prime Minister's proposed housing plan aimed at young professionals. I get the laudable intent, but in my, in my mind, this bill goes against the principle of fairness an equal treatment under the law and invites a court challenge. I recommend finding another way. A last statement from the East Ground Bahama MP came during yesterday's House session as members continued debate on the budget. National Insurance Minister rolled among the contributors yesterday, telling the House just how much money the government has spent following Hurricane Dorian and during the ongoing corona pandemic, more than $260 million in benefits he says they're doing what they can. We're doing our best. Things are tough. No tourists coming in. No money coming in. But we can get you some money. Also coming out of that session, the head of the student loans program, Michael MP Emanuel, told the House there's still $140 million owed in student loans. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials are heading into the weekend, still not certain if the country's coming out of the third wave of the coronavirus. The Wednesday numbers are in, and they show another jump in cases and two more confirmed deaths. Forty cases reported for Wednesday after lower numbers were reported on Monday and Tuesday. Twenty-nine of the latest cases in the capital, ten in Grand Bahama, one in Abaco. The hospital numbers remain manageable. Forty persons are still in, with four in the ICU. The death toll is now 236 after the latest victims were confirmed. Both females, both from the capital, 172, the other 45. Something Works Minister Bannister may be happy to hear. Shantytown residents in Abaco say they won't build any more homes for now. Relatives of that Cuban woman who immigration officials believe drowned when a boat capsized in the Keysal Bank area three months ago insisting they have reason to believe that she is alive and is being held at an immigration facility in this country. Immigration officials say no. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Accu Weather Update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny skies today, highs in the mid to upper 80s. 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the mid to upper 70s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The Weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and, of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of The Weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, G7 leaders now into their talks in England. They're dealing with a number of issues at their summit, including climate change on the coronavirus pandemic. As expected, U.S. President Biden has confirmed that the U.S. is donating 500 million corona vaccine to be used in lesser developed countries, especially in Africa. A busy day for the U.S. president yesterday on his first international trip as president. He met with British Prime Minister Johnson, had an audience with the Queen. Also, the president has stops in Brussels and Geneva before returning to Washington. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 491, SO 501, Rubis $5, one cent per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Bahamian stars going head-to-head in college track and field. Read the details of the Pedro seymour Devon charlton matchup. Details of a major sports event coming to Bahama. Big night for Jazz Chisholm and the Marlins last night in Major League Baseball. He had a three-run home run. 
The Marlins scored 11 runs. They got the win. Get the latest Major League Baseball news. I'm the latest on the NBA playoffs. DeAndre Ayton on the Suns take their 2-0 series lead into Denver tonight for Game 3. And get the latest on the French Open Tennis Tournament heading into Championship Weekend. For all your sports details, you'll want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.